Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter hero, Robert Ori. And uh, Robert Ori is, I will admit, not the last card that I expected to be the lock-in for uh, Wilt Chamberlain, obviously. He's one of the, well, I guess he's the last card that was released to lock-in in-game Wilt. And uh, hero Robert Ori is required for that set, so obviously I did buy him and lock him in. He's going to be less than 100,000 MT, probably relatively significantly less than 100,000 MT. So definitely probably will be one of the cheaper hero cards and it's looking like a decent card but how good that's what we're gonna have to find out in today's gameplay so before we hop into it if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 6,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day often multiple videos a day and i'd really appreciate your support if you haven't already if you do subscribe without further ado though i'll top right into it let's see what robert is looking like so uh big shot bob is 610 at the power forward or small forward position 99 offense 98 defense coming with a 88 driving layup uh decent post game 95 mid-range 97 three-pointer 90 standing and driving dunk 86 ball handle 90 block, 90 interior, 92 steel, 89 perimeter, pretty good rebounder, 92 speed, 90 excel, 88 speed ball, and 90 lateral quickness. So stats don't jump off the page of you, but they're pretty solid all the way around. 95 dunk tendencies. Defensive tendencies also look very good, 95 across the board there as well. And then badge-wise, comes with 37 hoffs and 27 gold badges. Those hoffs include catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, brick wall, box, clamps, off-ball pest, rebound chaser, post lockdown, tireless defender, lucky number seven, blinders, circus threes, fade ace, limitless spot up, chef, rhythm shooter, downhill, needle threader, set shooter, quick first step, clutch shooter, dead eye sniper, stop and pop, green machine, hots 100 mouse and house bullet passer special delivery ankle braces grace under pressure volume shooter slippery off ball menace post playmaker and hustler also 27 golds they include badges like postman technician drop stepper glue hands dimer rim protector interceptor intimidator post riser pogo stick mismatch expert rise up bailout tight handles unpluckable limitless takeoff and fast twitch badges to add i would definitely add some playmaking badges like ankle breaker hyperdrive also pick dodger pickpocket and chase downers are three big ones to add maybe quick chain as well handles for days and the bells ball, ball stripper badge so you're probably going to want to use all eight of his badge slots if you do want to badge this card up and use them in your team but uh, definitely looking like a pretty solid card just gonna need some of those badges to make him incredibly complete all right so robert Ory checking him out in freestyle i will say before uh he's got quick dribble stuff so that's good but before the handles for days badge is added and some of his playmaking badges his movement's not going to be elite he does have the carmelo base on very quick which honestly is a jumper that i'm a pretty i'm not a i'm not a like i don't dislike the jumper i should say it's smooth and it's easy to green and it's nice and fast my only issue with carmelo jumper is that sometimes he steps in from corners shoots long twos instead of corner threes which is a bit annoying as y'all can see he's going to get catch and shoot and he's like that was a three-pointer right there but some of these shots he's going to step in for a two that's a three as well but some of these he is well it doesn't look like he's stepping in for two actually very much so maybe he's not going to step in for two very much okay he did there so he's going to step in for two on some of his three-point attempts some of them he's not he's going to shoot those corner threes so it kind of depends on what you get movement wise like i said quick dribble style is good size up i think is the Kawhi size but i can't even no it's a penny hardaway size up actually which i'm a pretty big fan of but here's the problem without those playmaking badges which you definitely going to want to add he's just not going to move that great does have a good safe dunk there so that is good to see and the jumper is very solid pivot behind the back as well so his six are definitely super solid he's just going to need those uh playmaking badges to really help him out and his size up is not elite i think he's got the luka Doncic size up or something like that his uh, size up escape i should say so that is one thing that's a bit annoying but definitely going to need playmaking badges to take this robert Ory card to the next level because right now he just kind of moves like a slug and i think adding badges like quick chain hyper drive handles for days is definitely going to help him out a lot and you're also going to want to add those defensive badges like pick dodger pickpocket and chase down artists so once you get badges on this card i do think he's actually going to be a very very small small forward option but right now just a little bit limited but definitely looking like a solid card all the way around all right hopping into this game let's see what we can get going on the offensive end of the court give me a screen real quickly will please burst baseline robert Ory going all the way to the rim and throwing down a great safe dunk to start off the game we'll take that easy dunk his movement is honestly pretty solid i'm a big fan of the penny hardaway size up definitely don't have any sort of problems with that at all uh his size of escape is really his only movement that i'm not a big fan of um he did get ankle broken there but we do manage to get the steal wilt pushing the ball in transition i love to see that i love this wilt card i know this is a robert Ory gameplay but i'm gonna do a little bit of gameplay with wilt still just because i want to use the card both is so much fun to use but a uh, very solid start to the game with two quick buckets for robert ori let's see what he's got on the defensive end of the court as well like i said he's definitely going to need some badges to really reach his full potential he's not one of those cards that is incredibly complete like a lot of the cards that we have in the game right now but great defense there getting his own board and pushing in transition he does have the pippin behind the back which is a very very solid dribble move to have and i think my opponent might be out of here so let's get a three off with robert ori right here we're going to get a great look knock down the three-pointer and that's a quick quit let's hop into another game and let's keep it going with Big Shot Bob. 
All right, hopping into this second game. Don't even have any sort of settings on, but who needs them? We're actually matched up against Kelly Oubre again, which is funny. Different different guy, but same Kelly Oubre matched up defensively against Rob Ory. So interesting there. We do draw a foul. Terrible offensive possession. I'll be completely honest. That was a bad possession. But we got bailed out at the end of the possession with a foul, which is going to give us an opportunity to check out Robert Ory's free throw. Every card in the game can shoot free throws at a high level at this point. So this is not really that significant, but obviously smooth, easy to green free throw release. Going to be 100%, even if you don't green it pretty much. So very, very good free throw definitely going to be knocked down every single time let's play some defense and let's see what we can get going on the defensive end of the court uh he's got invincible ant on the court so invincible ant's not a bad card but he's not an incredible card that's a great shot though my by opponent knocking down a long four pointer good shot for it by him and let's get the ball into robert ori size up burst baseline yes sir hit it into wilt wilt go up strong oh my gosh wilt chamberlain contact dunk i love it let's go easy dunk and that gives us a tie game right now let's play some defense good d uh burst, get, switch that good good d okay rob i see you great defense rob beautiful stuff beautiful defense by rob Ori, and we get ourselves a nice stop throw it oh come on we got screwed and he gets a jump ball out of it that's annoying let's win the jump ball though and get back into our offense that's a little bit annoying but it doesn't really matter we should be able to win the jump ball here, hopefully, assuming that I can outtime my opponent, and it looks like we are able to do so. So beautiful. Throw it up to MJ. Let's get a pick and pop with Robert Ori. If you're going to play him at the four, he's going to be running more of those pick and pops. For me personally, I think he's going to be better suited for the three than the four, and I don't know what's going on right now. Go up. Rob, what are we doing? Okay, whatever. Still tie game. Good defense. Taco with a massive block. Throw it over to Rob Ori. Pump fake. I should have just shot it. I'm going to shoot it anyway. Knock down. Green light from incredibly deep. This Robert Ori card has a strat, bro. I'm not going to lie. Let's hop into one more game and let's keep it going. All right. Hopping into the second game. Let's get it going. I don't know why I'm running offense through magic right now. Um, go get a bucket, Robert. Pull up from... Ooh. Great offensive board from Taco. Let's get into our offense for this last game. Uh, burst and baseline. Robert Ori going up strong, throwing down that nice safe dunk. I love that they're giving everybody those quick drops off of one because that's the best safe dunk in the game right now. And that makes it so much easier to not get contested consistently and not get blocked, I should say, consistently on those dunks, which is a really great benefit to have uh, Robert Ori bursting, though. Hit it. Okay, I was going to hit it at Taco and take our assist, but we do manage to draw a foul there. Let's see what we can get going on the offensive end with Big Shot Bob, though. Throw it back over to him. I probably could have shot that i'm gonna go baseline instead and i'm gonna draw a foul and get more free throws he's looking like a really good offensive card i'm definitely thinking this robert ori card is a super solid small forward he's got good size at 610 once you add a couple of the badges to him he's gonna be more of a complete defender and playmaker um, and he's definitely got a great jump shot as well so he's a very good card there's no doubt about it honestly he's playing better than i expected that he would in this game uh, we have a four to, as we have a four to zero lead in this final game of the video um let's play some more defense come on get a hand up good d good d beautiful defense i love this defense cut off the baseline don't let him go anywhere beautiful that's okay actually we have a pretty good shot uh, that didn't wind up being quite as good defense as i thought it was going to be to be completely honest but good switch i like that wilt can guard anybody beautiful good defense oh we gotta stop giving up wide open looks what am i doing on defense that's fine though come on rob let's get a pick and pop going here come on burst here yes sir Hit the pop. I probably could have shot that. I mean, I probably couldn't have shot that, to be completely honest. I don't love the way he moves, though. He needs those playmaking badges. That would really help him out a lot. He's going to get a great safe dunk there and give us a 6-3 to three lead. All right, Rob. Pick and pop with Wills here. Burst here. Hit the pop. Wilt Chamberlain. Catch and shoot. 4-3. <laughs> this Wilt card is so glitchy, bro. I know this is a Robert Ory gameplay, but the fact... I mean, that is just a terrible shot, but because he's got that glitchy Luka base, he's basically impossible to contest. Like, so hard to contest, and it just allows you to shoot anything with Wilt. I mean, he's just so good. I don't, I don't know what to say, bro. Like, Rob Ory is amazing, no doubt. He's a very solid card, but I mean, this Wilt card just is just blowing my mind at how good he really is. Good defense. Good. Very, very solid. Let's get, get through. Good D. Good switch as well. Great defensive. Great defensive possession. Phenomenal defensive possession. Oh, and he gets a... That's a great move by my opponent. Nice, tough shot at the end of the possession. Come on, Rob. Give me another pick and pop, baby. Come on. Burst here. Bam behind the back. Hit it into him again. Easy dunk. And that's going to give us an 11-5 to lead. I do think this Robert Ori card is really very solid, especially once he's badged out. Definitely a very solid, versatile, small forward. Liking the card a lot. Uh, but yeah, I I'm a big fan of what he's given me in this game. 
All right, Rob, let's get you one more bucket and then we'll pretty much call it a video. I've pretty much seen everything that I need to see out of this card, to be completely honest, but I do want to get him one more catch and shoot opportunity or just an open three point opportunity in general. If he's going to green another one, I do like this Carmelo base a lot with the upper that he has. Not being able to shoot those corner threes every possession is a bit annoying, but outside of that, it is a very, very smooth and easy to green release. So definitely not a problem there. And let's just skip to the end of the video, to be honest. Let's skip back into the main menu to review this Robert Ory card because I've basically seen everything that I need to see out of this card. All right, so in conclusion, Rob Ori is definitely a pretty solid, pretty solid card, as y'all saw in those three games. He does need playmaking badges and defensive badges to really reach his full potential, but he's got a good release, solid movement, and solid size, especially as a small forward at six foot ten. So definitely a pretty darn solid card, especially at the small forward position. He's not a top five small forward, I wouldn't say. I don't think he competes against the guys like Juan Hernan Gomez, Giannis, uh, Thon Maker, Jonathan Isaac, a couple other guys at the small forward position that I'd probably take over him personally. But he definitely is still a very solid card and a guy who, if you do pick him up and if you do lock in for wilt you can 100 percent use on your squad if you need somebody else to fill that role at the small forward or even power forward position so hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace